In today's video, I'll show you how you'd be able to use Excalidur for system design. So let's get started. So here we are in Excalidur, and from here is that we just simply need to go into our browser, go into Excalidur.com, and we don't even need to log in, we can use Excalidur right away. Now in here is that you want to navigate into the tools, and this is where we can create our system design, like we have the freehand tool, the select tool, the shapes, the lines, and then we have the free draw tool. We have the text, photos, and then the eraser. What we need first is, since we're creating a system design, I think we need the shape. So for example, I'll be selecting circle, and then I'll just drag it right here and select the, or I'll customize the circle that I want. So maybe something like that. And from here is that you want to navigate to the left menu, make sure that the circle is to your liking, like you could change the stroke color, the background, and then the fill, how would you like it to be filled, so I'll just want it like that. And then the stroke width, I would want it to be thick, and then the stroke style, we can make it uh, broken lines, just like that, or like um, not broken. And then we have the sloppiness, if you would want to make it like hand-drawn. If you'd want to make it more cleaner, then you can go for just level one sloppiness and then the opacity layers and other actions such as delete, copy, and link. And now in here is that I'm just going to put in some text in here inside. So I'm going to do that by going here into the text and then I could go for system design example, maybe something like that. And I'm going to make it a tool. Um, two lines right there. And then I'm going to go here into the left menu. I could now modify the alignment just like so. And I'm going to go back in here, click on the select tool, and then just simply drag the text Oops, right there, make it bigger just so that it would fit the circle nicely and change the color to black. And now from here is, this is where the beauty of Excalibur shines. So you want to select the shape right here, and then you want to press Control or Command if you're in a Mac, and then press on your arrow keys. So where would you like the next step to be? So for example, I would want it here on the bottom. So I'm going to go and press the Control plus the bottom arrow key, and then I would now have this graph. As you can see, so this is how we can make our system design. And now I can press once again without letting go of the Control key and then I would be able to create more and more and more as I keep on pressing the arrow so as you can see I can have more of that and then I could also change the direction like here at the top I can do that again so control plus the up arrow key or the right key or the left key so depending on how much you'd want like for example I just want this three at the bottom right there and then when I let go it would now be um, uh, re rendered right here so now I can select one of those shapes again, and then again, I can do the same thing. So I'm going to go into the left this time, and again, I can do that just like so. So yeah, this is how you'd be able to do that easily. And now you can just input the values and so on right here. The only thing here is that you wouldn't be able to change the shape individually. But yeah, if you do want to change that, then you would have to delete that. And from here, I could just create a diamond, for example. And then from here is that... I'm going to go and connect it just like that. So just simply need to drag these points right here. So for example, I want to change this one again into a square and then just simply draw the square in here and then click on the arrowhead just like that. We now have this point and just point it into the shape that we made. And then just like that, we have now created that shape. So that's it. I'm just showing you and how you would be able to create your own diagrams or your own system design in here. So all that's left is to input the values and so on. So of course, you can make this cleaner if you spend more time. And then the last tip that I'm going to give you is that you can go here into library. And then you have a set of templates here for the diagrams that you'd be able to use in system design. So this would be some very helpful illustrations. So here's my library. And if you don't have anything right here, don't worry. You can just go here into browse libraries. And then this is where you'd be able to see all the illustrations that you'd be able to add to your library. So for example, you want the stick figures and you want to click here on add to Excalibur and it will now be added to your library just like that. It's very simple, right? And now you can use this freely and then just drag it into your workspace. And again, you can customize this however you want, like the stroke color, the background, width, and so on right here on the left menu. And next is that we can go into library again. 
And then basically in here is that when we click here on this um, arrows right here is that we now have the personal library and we have this again. So we can click there on add and then we would now have this arrow again. So we can point it here or we can connect it into the shape. And yeah, this is basically where we can do that. So you can put in another shape right here if you'd want to, and then just simply connect it again, just like that. So as you can see, creating a system design here in Excalibur is very simple. So make sure that you follow along and remember all those things, and then you should be able to use Excalibur effectively in creating system design. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. And now, once you are all satisfied with your work and all that's left is to save it, you can now click here on the left menu right here at the top left where you can see this icon with the three horizontal bars. And now you can click on save to. You can save this as a disk, shareable link, or save into your Excalibur workspace, depending on what you'd want. Or you could also save this as an image. Go back in here, go into export image, and then you can now download this as an PNG. SVG or just copy it to clipboard and then you also have these options in here to make it a transparent background or not make it in dark mode embed scene and then the scaling so that's it and then lastly is that we have the reset the canvas so if you don't want to start another canvas or you just need to clear this out you can click here and reset and then all of it will be gone and of course, we could always undo and redo if we ever make a mistake just like that. As you can see, I have bought it back. So that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.